For too long, the post of America's ambassador to South Korea has been left vacant. The Donald Trump administration may have finally made up its mind on a candidate for that particular job. Park Ji-won gets us up to speed with the developments. Several major media outlets, including the Washington Post, Reuters, and CNN, have reported, quoting unnamed U.S. government sources, the U.S. Pacific Commander Admiral Henry Harris is likely to be named as the U.S. Ambassador to South Korea. The top U.S. military official was initially tapped as ambassador to Australia in February, but the confirmation hearing on that matter, which was originally slated for Tuesday this week, was postponed. The Senate Foreign Relations spokesperson told to CNN that the hearing was postponed until early May at the request of the administration. Reports claim that current CIA director and nominee for Secretary of State Mike Pompeo asked the U.S. Navy Admiral to take up the post of ambassador to South Korea, which has been vacant since the start of the Trump administration in January last year. Harris himself has also reportedly confirmed to Pompeo that he is willing to take the post as the ambassador to South Korea. Previously, well-known professor and expert on the Korean Peninsula, Victor Cha, was considered by the Trump administration as the candidate for the ambassador role in South Korea. But the White House said in February that it no longer considered him for the post, as he had expressed concerns about the possible use of a preventive military strike on North Korea. Shao Staffer Mark Knepper has been serving as the acting U.S. ambassador in Seoul since previous ambassador Mark Lippert departed at the end of the Obama administration. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.